Hey, what's good? My name is Avery Gonzalez. I want to welcome you to Inspodax Shun. We're doing something new that you've never done before. will change your experience forever. I guarantee it. Personal growth is going to happen. In today's episode, I want to keep the front story as short as possible so we can get to the meat of it. If you want the entire backstory that leads into this video, which I might admit is quite interesting, you got to go check it out. The link below, AveryGonzalez.com slash Senorita. Anyway, you might be just like me, and you remember a time back in middle school or high school when you got that phone number from somebody that you thought was kind of cute at school, and you were just wondering, like, when should I call them? What am I going to say? What if they actually pick up and I don't get their voicemail? These crazy thoughts go through your head, and, and you just have a hard time dialing. Well, my situation recently has been sort of similar. You see, I met somebody down in Argentina. This cute girl named Florencia, or Flair, like a flower. <sighs> She's so cute. Anyway, I met her down there and lost her number, lost her information. And due to the good work of my friend Debbie from Argentina, our guide when we were down there, we were able to find her phone number and her contact information. And that contact information sat up on my bulletin board for about a month. And so I have just recently decided to do something about it. So in this video, I'm making my international call to Miss Flair to reach out and establish a connection. We'll see how it goes. Let's do it. Essentially, I'm being a big wiener right now, and I think that turning the camera on and then calling is going to help. So we're just going to go for it. We're using Skype for this international call. Hi, is this Florencia? Hello? Hola. Hola, is this Florencia? Is this Fleur? Si. Sí. Si? Sí, I bet you have no idea who this is. <laughs> this is... This is Abram Gonzalez. Do you remember me? <laughs> How are you doing? Fine. Good. Is this a surprise? <laughs> how is how is school? How are you? She hung up on me with no warning. I have no idea what that's all about. So, we're going to call again and see what's going on. I don't know if that's a good sign. <laughs> Getting hung up on in like 46 seconds. I think she was shocked. I'm kind of shocked that I even called. Let's do it again. Uh... Hey, what's going on? <laughs> you don't want to talk to me? What what's happened. up with that? I don't know what happened with my phone. <laughs> Excuses. You just oh, didn't want to talk to me. I don't to talk with you. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I've missed you. It took me forever to get your phone number. Oh, my God. I can't believe that. <laughs> uh, where are you now? I'm back home. I'm in Colorado. Yeah, apparently I should have... But you need to call me when you stay here. It's so difficult. I'll see you again. You stay in Colorado. Uh, yeah, that's apparent because it's about 6,000 miles away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, the last week I remember you because I talked with my, my, my department partner. Uh -huh. You remember her? Yes. Uh, <laughs> and she asked me about you. Uh huh. Because we we try to to find your Facebook or yeah. something like that. Yeah. It's very difficult. Uh huh. And uh, was terrible because they won't tell me anything. So are you following now? <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, awesome. Awesome. Because, you know, um... What? 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 Hanging up on me in the middle of that shit? Calling again. Persistence pays. The time doubled that, that, that time around. A minute, 48 seconds? Yeah. Big time improvement. I have a, I have a problem with you hanging up on me every single time. <laughs> like, does it really have to be this uh, difficult? For this reason, you miss me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I figured I would at least be able to call you on Skype. Do you have Skype by chance? All right, I'm so happy I did that. I mean, I don't know why I put it off for so long, because when I finally got to talk to her, that's pretty sweet, because like, I could hear her smiling. I'm sure she could hear me smiling. I don't know, I'm stoked for the connection, so got her email address and all that good stuff, and I guess we're going to be chatting more soon. I don't know why I waited so long to give her a call, because, <clears throat> I don't know, now now I've just got, like, smiles for miles. I don't know what what was so big about, you know, uh, why I was so scared to just give her a call. It's like, uh, it takes you, like, way back to high school, but I was actually more scared about not getting a hold of her and having to leave an answering a message on her voicemail than actually getting a hold of her. So a little bit flip flop there, but yeah, feels good to just go, just go call her and then experience these feelings. Cause I wouldn't have them if I hadn't have gone through and just like taken action. Right. Cause tough. I'm proud of me. So anyway, that's a wrap. Wanted to share that with you today and thanks for tuning in. Take your inspiration challenge today. Go out there. Push your comfort zone. Do something that you've never done before. It could be this big or it could be this big. But it's all good stuff. Take care.